Hey guys, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson from Tortoise and Hare Software and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to find and identify some quick wins uh, within a fixed market. Um, in today's example we'll be looking at uh, IT companies in Jacksonville but this sort of exercise can really be done in any sort of fixed market be that like a CRM software uh, company um, you know something somebody that's focused on like a specific uh, vertical or a type of software or a type of service etc but then it can also apply to a more general company that's competing based on locality um, but uh, so one of the best ways to find this kind of quick SEO wins is going to be through a competitive analysis um, so this will help you identify gaps where there's um, high-ranking articles that your competitors are doing which gives you a chance to both capture uh, traffic and erode their competitive position. Um, so those can definitely be some quick SEO wins in the market. Um, and uh, I'm gonna pop over here to screen capture. Um, so what I've done is I've gone and um, checked out um, like a number of, so I'm, I'm going to this tool over here called SEM Rush, and SEM Rush is a premium tool that allows you to do a number of things. But one of those is keyword research or competitive research of people um, or companies on the internet. Um, so, for instance, if I come over here to the Tortoise and Hare software website. Um, and come over here to the domain overview. Let's go to the root here and look at the key, the organic research report, and positions, and then filter by uh, top twenty. So this would give me like a. Uh, um, top 20 ranking keywords for a particular um, uh, domain. So what I've done is I've gone through and done this sort of pull for basically the, all the relevant IT companies within the Jacksonville market that are um, you know, selling into that market. And I found those listed competitors through a list of looking at um, advertiser competition within Google Ads and then also within this SEM Rush tool, you can look at competitors um, from an organic standpoint, and they'll give you kind of like a competition level here um, with common keywords, um, and you can kind of look through the lists and use a combination of the domains and just qualitative knowledge of who your competitors are in the marketplace to identify who the relevant competitors are. And I found about uh, 20 of them that are um, you know the most relevant in a digital sense and have exported those all into Excel um, so you can export all those positions um, here via Excel and um, I have exported all those into you know this list here um, on my hard drive and then I've actually gone through and dumped all of those Excel spreadsheets into a database um, so if I just hit kind of select star from competitors here, um, you know, he's, I've got like all the URLs that were um, participating in top 20 ranking keywords, what the keyword uh, that they were ranking for, the position that it's uh, being tracked, what the estimated search volume is of that keyword, um, the keyword difficulty as far as it takes to uh, rank for it. Um, you can kind of see like what percentage of traffic this particular URL is capturing of the keyword volume um, and a number of uh, other kind of uh, data points here. Um, I've then gone and dumped the kind of client into its own um, temporary table here and then um, got a couple queries that I've prepared here. So the first one I'm going to run is I'm going to select everything in the results here um, from the competitors table where the keyword is also in the net tech table and um, that 
the competitors table does not have the NetTech Consultants URL and ordering that by the keyword. Um, and I'll actually just kind of narrow this down to C keyword and C URL. So just kind of showing you this first, and this is like a lets you know like what is what are you where is the competition at? So that's um, you know a good thing to know uh, first. So a lot of competition here on Computer Consultant, Jacksonville, Florida, as you would expect. A ton of competition on IT Support, Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida, kind of related variants, um, and then a couple other keywords, and then. IT companies are also more commonly known as managed service providers so you can see there's a ton of um, competition related to those managed IT related keywords and then also kind of tech support so you know that's where the most competitive ferocity is is around that the support and services and that doesn't necessarily mean that's where the demand is going to uh, match up but it's good to get an understanding and you can kind of use these um, uh, URLs that are um, ranking from your competitors to kind of increase the um, rankings for these particular words but in this video we're really looking more for some low-hanging fruit from a content strategy perspective um, that lets us know where we can get some um, competitive erode some competitive positions and pick up some traffic that you know we may not necessarily have thought of before um, so I've prepared another query here that's selecting all the competitors um, data that's not you know a match in the NetTech table so this is where competitors have a presence that NetTech does not and then I've also added a kind of thing here for um, to check if the position of the keyword is in the top three because in general um, most clicks are going to go to the top three positions and of course a disproportionate amount of those are going to go to position one but really the most relevant keywords are going to be in that top three position so that kind of helps just focus our um, you know research a little bit here more make it a little bit more digestible um, and then I've also went and gone through and made sure that the keyword is not like certain branded terms that were kind of clogging up this report so kind of run that one more time and uh, we'll start kind of looking at some of the keywords that we see in here um, so kind of take a took a look at the keywords here before this video and saw a couple interesting you know things here one there was a couple uh, hits around this um, most uh, devastating viruses um, blog article here so if we kind of open that up and then go take a look at this post and we can see that we have a post on the top 10 most destructive computer viruses all time where they kind of run through this list um, of various computer viruses and this post is generating them some traffic so you know what that you know tells me is there's an opportunity here and what's interesting is I look at this post and it's very um, plain one thing they did a really good job was there's lots of links to various uh, different resources um, but there's no infographic there's no video there's no you know real call to action or anything either um, so you know I definitely think that we could churn out a better post than this um, and we can also do what's known as the skyscraper method and that's basically where you know you go through and make something um, you know if you think about a city and you know rich people all kind of competing in a city to build a, a taller skyscraper what you do is you go and you say alright well they've got a list of the top 10 most destructive, comp destructive computer viruses of all time let's make it the top 15 so you, you build a bigger skyscraper on top of, of them with uh, better content and there's also um, I don't see some of the most uh, recent cyber attacks in here so if you added some of the more recent um, cyber attacks such as one that just happened with Kaisa or however you pronounce it 
um, the remote monitoring and management tool, um, or if you mentioned the pipeline uh, cyber attack that just happened uh, not too long ago, you know, those are some additional opportunities to build traffic since those are more popular and discussed and searched about, you know, online right now. So definitely an opportunity there um, to create a similar post. Um, and a lot of times it's kind of almost good to look at these from a URL standpoint. So actually let me do again c.keyword and c.url and then let me order this by URL instead of keyword. Let me just comment this out real quick. Okay. All right, so there's another uh, kind of a series of URLs that are the same right here on a software upgrade versus an update. What is the difference? Looks like this is the kind of same company and again uh, it's a pretty short post and for like a you know um, topic that's kind of as small as this one you don't really need a ton um, so but this is a good spot to put in some um, competitive parity put a compare a competing post out there and then also kind of tie this more to um, you know why you need these and how the company can help so you know make it a little bit more salesy so I definitely think there's again opportunity to um, create a competing post and attract some traffic that um, is not that you know is I mean obviously this post is doing pretty solid on its own ranking in the top three um, without you know a ton of effort and a ton of thought in it and uh, there's it's another good spot. Um, we look that, at that URL again. So we got life cycle management care. So one thing on the IT market, anything written about like computers specifically has a tendency to attract consumer um, traffic. So I try to stay away from terms that have the term computer in them. Um, this does seem a little bit, a bit more of a enterprisey term, um, but if I add in the volume, let's see what the volume is here. Search volumes thirty. Okay, the volume's higher than I thought, so it's actually not too bad. So this is another, um, you know. Opportunity. And let's take a look at this um, since this is a different company. Okay, so this, you know, is a uh, they're ranking collaterally, so you notice that the terms here are computer lifecycle, computer hardware, computer lifecycle management. Um, you know, but the post here topic is about what is IT lifecycle management. Lifecycle management care is kind of in the um, title here, so I think there is opportunity here, but this is less attractive to me um, just because they also have a nice little graphic here that I think is um, something that would be kind of more difficult to reproduce and it's like a well-structured post um, and would just be a little bit more in-depth to publish so that's just like an initial opinion um, but I don't necessarily think going over after these keywords specifically or competing or creating a competing post is low-hanging enough for it to be attractive right now but we could always circle back to that one um, Okay, so that was kind of the URL view. Um, so these these three 
these three posts are actually probably pretty good targets. This life cycle management, um, top uh, most destructive computer viruses, and software upgrade versus updates, and what's the difference there. So that's kind of a good way to, now we've got three posts that we know competitors are using to attract traffic. Um, you know, you have to kind of consider, you know, how do these fit within the overall kind of content strategy as terms of like what types of um, people are these posts like likely to attract? Um, do they fit in with the needs of the business, the competitive strategy of the business? Um, so you know, you don't necessarily would you wouldn't want to necessarily just blindly follow just because these these three URLs are here and there's opportunity to create a a post that attracts that traffic, but it's a good way to know, just to understand like what your competitors are doing and what some of the um, you know URLs that they're using to drive that traffic. You know, they thought it was valuable for a particular reason, and obviously people are searching for that, um, and they're ranking uh, within the top three for keywords related to those posts. So you know that's that's good to know. It's good information. Um, now let's take a little bit more of a keyword view. But what I'm going to do here is um, also exclude these URLs. And we could use the keywords that were within these URLs as part of the production and try to work them into the post, the competing post that we create. Um, so this is just something we know we'd want to circle back to. So we've excluded those URLs. Um, and let's make sure we ordered by keyword this time. Okay, that's branded. Okay, so that's actually like a super. That's a very desirable keyword right there. People looking for VPN for business. Um, this is another super good keyword um, so one thing that's uh, interesting to look at here um, all-inclusive IT support um, okay actually disregard that um, yeah that's a good one to look at Another good one, cloud computing tips, um, computer support, eh. cloud services. Um, it's very vague. Usually, you want to look for something more like Azure support or something or GCP support. Um, this is a good one, more so to bid on from a paid search perspective. These local keywords aren't going to be relevant to us, but um, some of these companies compete in multiple um, localities. And uh, yeah, so those aren't going to be re relevant. IT referrals is a little vague, but it's not too bad. This is actually probably a better one for tortoise in here. Local, local, Jack's tablet. Don't want that. That's going to be more consume, attract more consumer stuff. These are really branded terms. That's an interesting one.
Okay, so this is this is interesting. So these three or these keywords right here are all pretty um, desirable, but what they've done here is they've put their domain name, like in their business name, is a like basically exact match domain. So it's really hard to outrank people for those particular keywords because there's an exact match, match domain boost. Um, it is possible though. The building IT company. That could also be the building it company. So that's kind of a little vague. I also saw this particular URL a couple times now, so that might be a good one to take a look at. In VoIP Jacksonville, we definitely need to be beyond that. Okay. So you can see, you know, um, we've gone through, we've done some competitive research, looked at the top three, and we see um, at least four URLs here that are um, important URLs. And a couple of other keywords to take a look at. And, look at what their pages are doing. So let's look at that IT referrals one real quick. Um, IT referrals. Very basic landing page, um, something that we could uh, create. Some, this is nothing to create a little bit of competitive parity here. And it's always great to make it easy on your customers to refer you to as well. So that's like a dual dual objective there. So definitely want to get something going there. Um, okay, what am I doing there? All inclusive IT support. definitely build a better page than that here um, yeah I mean as you can kind of see too as you looked at these like a page doesn't have to be like super killer to like really rank um, a lot of times it's just kind of finding these pockets um, and you know the the branding is nice and the the domain is probably got backlinks at this point and some of their um, lower quality pages that aren't like key conversion pages are naturally ranking um, but you know that's a it's great it's a good opportunity they've they've told us a good way to get some traffic here and um, you know we this is this is something that's we can do better um, so yeah anyways so that's a good way to find some kind of quick SEO wins for a fixed market um, I've done this sort of exercise for uh, multiple competitors. Might be a little get a little bit more in depth with this um, outside the purposes of this video, but um, you can definitely see like the benefits of a competitive research project um, for your uh, business and um, how it can feed into a content strategy to help you get some relatively um, quick wins and. Um, guide your content strategy a little bit you don't always want to do everything in your content strategy of course based on what your competitors are doing um, but you know it's a good way it's important to have like points of parity and then points of competitive differentiation um, both in business but in, in SEO as well so finding those areas for the uh, competitive parity um, is something that is can be done via kind of some low-hanging fruit um, and you know I've looked at kind of the competitive strength of some of these uh, companies within this and the particular client that I'm uh, working with now has the ranking power or domain power to be able to 
um, compete with some of these pages. Um, so there's there's more to it than what we've covered here today, um, but you know this is a great way to understand what's going on in your um, local market or what in the fixed market, um, where the gaps are, where the chances are to uh, make an impact with your content strategy, and just get a better feel for what your competitors are doing. So. Um, Definitely reach out to us uh, if you need help. Um, hope this video was helpful for you to get an understanding of how you can use like SEMrush uh, and query data to um, identify areas in the market where there is uh, opportunity. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We're regularly producing new uh, useful videos in the uh, kind of more technical side of marketing and helping companies um, be more competitive digitally. So, all right, until next time, thanks for watching.